can you resume presenting or start again no. go go to the present uh, presentation stop it and uh, mm -hmm. can you go to chrome at the bottom chrome yes chrome. No, no 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 the other one that is open already hide yeah and resume presenting press the hide option and uh, pause yeah there click on that click. yes yes click and resume presenting resume presenting perfect now can you pl uh, please go to powerpoint again start the slide show perfect now let me introduce you sir uh, good morning all uh, i welcome you all to the uh, morning session today we have uh, <coughs> Uh, our resource person as Dr. Sushil Prasad, Sir is Dean, College of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry, Ranchi. And the topic chosen for deliberation is role of integrated backyard poultry farming in doubling farmers' income. Sir, you are audible as well as visible, and your presentation is also visible. Please start. Okay, thank you, sir. Very good morning to all the participants. And I am going to present or give you. A slight discussion on the role of integrated backyard poultry farming in doubling farmers income as we know <clears throat> the poultry farming itself uh, gives uh, income generation to the farmer and that's why we can say that uh, in doubling farmers income poultry farming is uh, a very good uh, so <clears throat> first thing is that uh, uh, under an integrated farming system, our objective is to integrate different production system like dairy, poultry, livestock, fisheries, floriculture, horticulture, apiculture, etc., etc., with agricultural crop production as the base. Because uh, the farmers are in the base line is the agriculture. They never uh, leave that portion. And so, how we will integrate? integrate the with these livestock sector especially poultry with the agriculture system so that the farmers income will increase as well as agriculture production will also increase to increase farm resources use efficiency that is efficiency of the farm resource can be increased through the integrated farming system like land labor and production byproducts so as to increase farm income and gainful employment opportunity this is the main thing that how you we are going to utilize everything i like the farmers are using agriculture so land labor and production byproducts because the by this byproducts are used for the animal husbandry now, to promote multi-cropping for multi-layered crops of economic value so as to sustain land productivity. <clears throat> that is multi-cropping. Farmers are doing uh, uh, many of the places uh, using monocropping system. But the, uh, by monocropping itself only, we cannot increase the farmer's income because monocropping like uh, uh, wherever there is dry land area, like a uh, Jharkhand like a state, there is undulating plateau as well as the uh, dry land zones. And they mostly the agriculture is on rain fed system. On the rain fed agriculture, this integration is very much essential to increase the productivity as well as the income of the farmers. Third thing is that to maintain environmental quality and eco, ecology, ecological stability. This is the, that is the, we, uh, you will arrange the program or IFS system in such a way that the environment of quality so that it may not produce any type of pollution and ecological stability, whatever the uh, nature or climate is going on. So the major issues, what the issues are there in IFS? develop strategies and promote crop livestock synergies and their interaction among to integrate crop and livestock effectively with careful land use as we have discussed 
that land should be used properly. Then second aspect is increase the productivity of a specific mixed crop livestock system. Mixed crop livestock system means that is the cropping system is a mixed cropping system uh, uh, to increase this uh, productivity like uh, uh, we use the potato in the ground, underground, like in shaded area, we can grow the uh, spices. Similarly, facilitate expansion of food production. Then uh, keep the environment clean and healthy with careful and efficient use of natural resources. So plan action to implement, implement a more efficient use of biomass, reducing pressure on natural resources and develop a sustainable livestock manure management system to control environmental losses and contaminant spreading. <clears throat> because whatever we are using for the agriculture as a fertilizer, we are using this uh, 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 man manures, uh, man livestock manure management system, so that it should be the environmental inner, the environmental uh, control that is in the, there should not be environmental loss. Now component for maximizing of integration integrated farming system. Now, what are the component different we can uh, give in this uh, like agriculture, livestock, silvi pasture, horticulture, fisheries, sericulture, apiculture, mushroom culture, biogas. So these are the components which can be integrated with this agriculture system to improve. Like agriculture, all the farming system, livestock means all the livestock and poultry, silvi pasture, horticulture, that is the agroforestry we use. Under this also, we can similarly fishery. Fishery is very much in, in, incorporated with the livestock, that is the our strategies to <clears throat> now benefits of ifs what uh, what benefits we are providing by ifs that is increased productivity potentiality uh, or you can say sustainability because uh, many of the time there will be drought area down that condition the livestock will be more sustainable than that of the agriculture system balanced food because whatever the uh, livestock or poultry we are rearing, this is the, the provide the balanced food that at, as such the farmers are nutritionally deficient. <clears throat> so on that condition, if they are producing the livestock uh, food like uh, meat or egg or uh, any other aspect of this, uh, we can so balanced food profitability. This will increase the profitability even in the this uh, situation that when the agriculture is not going on pollution reduction provide opportunities as crop insurance because the uh, <clears throat> the crop have, depends on the rain fed crop wherever there is rain fed crops uh, on that condition livestock or poultry is the only sector that can ensure the crop uh, in this way avoid degradation of land resources, provide opportunities for agri-oriented industries. Agri-oriented industries means whatever the byproducts are coming from the this livestock sector, we can use in the agri-oriented industry. Integrate into indigenous or traditional knowledge because the farmers are doing, they apply their traditional knowledge also for rearing of livestock and poultry, mitigating the wood, fodder, demand, etc. Mitigating energy crisis, less vulnerable to climate change. In climate change, there is, a, this will directly affects the, on the agriculture production, whereas the livestock and poultry sector will have less effect than that of the uh, on the climate change change mitigating in rural urban migration this is the big problem for the in the villages for migration so this will check the migration also integrated crop livestock farming system crop diversification for natural resource management 
then diversification of sustainable agriculture diversification for poverty alleviation crop diversification for extreme weather events as we have discussed earlier that regarding this extreme weather events the crop is affected diversification of poverty elevation that is if we are going uh, integrate uh, all the things then definitely it will uh, alleviate the poverty and similarly sustainable agriculture can be done only by the integration of the farming system as uh, diversity balances productivity profitability and environmental health diversity balance productivity that is the says the productivity balance is uh, by the this integrated farming system as our uh, honorable prime minister has given this task for doubling the farmers income on that condition only this uh, uh, integration of a uh, farming system will help in doubling the farmer income now we if we see the livestock production and then uh, nutrient cycling uh, then the food crops and forage and crop residues and then this is the, the integrated integrated crop livestock farming system so whatever the livestock production we are using then whatever it is a uh, nutrient cycling then this will help in the as a manure for the food crops and forage crops and this crop residue will again for the livestock production system so this is the whole system for so if we go for the commercial crops meat egg and milk these three things we are uh, occupying from this livestock uh, poultry farming then this is uh, this uh, there the livestock will produce the manure to for the fish farming and from fish it will help in the like the pond slits etc will help in the crop manure and this manure a crop will again will with crop will be the food for the uh, livestock and poultry and this manure for crop production so this way we can say the commercial crop production will increase and uh, side by side we are seeing this uh, meat egg and milk all the three uh, product uh, livestock produce will increase <laughs> now if you see nutrient element in different livestock manure where first thing is the because this is the uh, livestock manure which help in the integration with the agriculture crop or the fish production or the silviculture all the these horticulture so why this because uh, what type of manure we should use for to compensate the soil texture like chicken feces chicken feces you will see organic matter is 25.5 under this and nitrogen is 1.63 phosphorus is 1.54% and similarly potash is 0.83% <clears throat> duck feces when we are saying uh, ch chicken or poultry poultry means uh, that is uh, all the domesticated birds which are meant for egg meat and feather so on under this condition duck feces 26.2% organic matter under this 1.14% nitrogen phosphorus is 1.44 and 0.62% is the potass so on pig feces 15 and similarly you can say pig urine 2.5 cattle feces 14 and cattle urine this is the organic matter so under this condition we will say we are here seeing that chicken feces having maximum content of the nitrogen <clears throat> one phosphorus and potass in under this condition potass is higher in case of cattle urine and uh, phosphorus is uh, 0.1 whereas in case of poultry it is 1.54 and 1.44 and similarly nitrogen is 1.63 and 1.14 so by seeing this value of manure so we can say chicken feces and duck feces are very much higher uh, concentration of this nitrogen phosphorus and potass so for a good manural value of these fecal matter of chicken and duck 
So poultry production under IFS. <clears throat> so poultry consists of fowl, fowl means chicken, and then 95%, then duck is 3%, and turkey and other birds are 2%. <clears throat> Population increased from 307 million in 1992, whereas it is 729 in 0.2 million in 2012 census. Now it is, has been also increased in 2019. India is the third largest egg producer, like 69.73 billion on that time, and uh, fifth largest poultry meat, per, that is 2.68 million tons, producing country in the world. Per capita availability is still it is less, but in 2019 census, it has increased up to 85 eggs and 3 kg of poultry meat per annum at the economic survey of 2019. Whereas it was in, two, in the 12-13, it was 55 eggs and 2.4 kg of poultry meat. Now, poultry farming. Why we should go for poultry farming? There are uh, other livestock also, but uh, importance of poultry to provide cost-effective protein, protein food. As you know, there is a malnutrition in the village condition, or we can say that uh, in the farmers on that condition, if we are, they are rearing uh, poultry, then it will provide a, a pure source of protein food to the farmers. Support agriculture farmers by offering remunerative prices as we know that uh, the village birds uh, especially those who are making uh, in the backyard system on that uh, the prices uh, they fetch more price than that of the uh, farm birds uh, uh, like broiler and other sectors poultry sectors are steadily growing near double digit for last two decades because it is uh, up to goes in a uh, Double digit, man, that, that means that the broiler production is about 7 to 8% growth rate and layer is about 5 to 6%. So, conversion of agriculture waste to egg and meat, whatever the waste we are getting from the agriculture, this is the integration that the we are using the manual and conversion of agriculture waste, whatever the waste, like we are taking the rice from the and the rice leftover byproduct is the rice husk we are using in the industry of animal industry. Similarly, uh, maize we are using, and then other cakes, oil cakes. These are the waste byproducts. Like cakes are the byproducts after extracting the oil. The byproducts are the, are the cake. These are the good protein source for the livestock. Employment to over 5 million people. So this is the so employment generation. If we are going more, more in this livestock sector, I hope this uh, will increase uh, up to 10 million of people will engage in this. Types of poultry farming. Now, if we are going for poultry farming, then poultry industry intensive system. There are uh, three systems. Uh, that is intensive system that is completely in the house. So poultry industry, they are keeping urban areas, poultry farm, peri urban areas, big and small town, they are keeping the poultry completely in intensive system. That feeding uh, depends uh, totally on the uh, ready-made feeds. Semi-intensive system, that is the rural areas. Because uh, sometimes in daytime, we keep the birds outside the shade and in a night shelter, we are providing this night sets. So this is the semi-intensive. But in semi-intensive, we give a fencing area and that bird will move during the daytime and uh, take up their food from the um, green grasses and other uh, insects and other things. Free range or backyard. Free range or backyard is in the rural area. This is the traditional farming of the bird and that is uh, is uh, inside they in the morning they leave the bird from the house and they collect all the food material from outside uh, uh, the house even the food uh, whatever the waste of the food uh, you are taking from vegetable or 
or whatever they left over of the kitchen we provide them and they are inside the house and outside our so going and in the evening hour they come back to the house this is the backyard system. rural poultry rural poultry means especially the backyard system or we can say somewhat semi intensive system a small scale intensive rural poultry semi intensive backyard and free range yeah, that's a, a, you are seeing in the photographs the uh, managing the birds in villages now importance of backyard poultry backyard poultry a traditional system of poultry keeping a rearing practice uh, by rural folk since the time emporium it is the type of organic farming with no harmful residue in egg and meat because uh, if we are not providing a ready made feed that is the all the produce directly from the ground to uh, and uh, the whatever the by products of the um, um, agriculture the like uh, vegetable garbage and everything they take from this there and we can say that organic farming is only possible on when their birds are in backyard system it is eco friendly approach that is the ecosystem that is whatever the manure they are providing to the in the field and collecting their food from the field so village chicken are very active in pest control provide manure are required for a special festivals and are essential for many traditional ceremonies there many of the there there is a tradition to which type of bird will be slaughtered or sacrificed during their um, puja or anything poultry as a nutritional food because the poultry when they are rearing either in any system either intensive semi intensive or backyard the backyard i am saying that because the farmers are not doing this uh, intensive or semi intensive system on that condition they may take the egg meat as a source of nutrition the poultry products are the most economical source of animal protein without adulteration they from the egg they anyone can use the uh, protein portion egg is considered as complete food with all nutrient required for human growth and has got highest uh, biological value so by this is uh, considering considering these things for egg if uh, because the farmers uh, family or family farmers are not used to take uh, purchase every day two eggs and uh, eat them so if the they are rearing this backyard ch chicken on that condition they use their own eggs uh, own poultry eggs for uh, their nutritional requirement and uh, by this they they and they can improve the uh, improve the malnutrition combat the mal malnutrition very easily a very interesting fact in recent study from kenya has shown that children who had got who got some animal source food have better uh, cognition and activity level in school than children who did not receive such food and in, <laughs> interestingly the children getting meat did better than the children's getting milk this is a report from the kenya that uh, because uh, definitely the protein content of the egg and protein content of uh, milk is uh, varying very much and are not containing all the nutritive elements uh, like that of the meat meat and egg now here we can see the average composition in percent of rice and a few animal protein sources because uh, um, most of the farmers house in india especially they are using rice only rice uh, they are taking like uh, you can say west bengal like jharkhand even in up also uh, eastern up they are also using this rice as a main food so under this you can see that is uh, <clears throat> 13% is the moisture okay, you can say in case of rice whereas cow milk whole is 87.3 and hen you can say in hen 74% moisture as well as 71% moisture in case of duck 
and chicken meat is 66% of moisture. Now the next uh, thing is the protein, which is the major source of uh, the nutrient. So in rice, it is 7.1% of protein, 3.5% in case of milk, whereas 12.4% in chicken egg and 13% in case of duck egg. And in meat, uh, chicken meat, 20.2% of the, uh, the in the chicken meat. So with the, uh, you, by this you can say that the, uh, how much increase in the protein source, uh, protein in case of uh, chicken, egg and duck egg and even in meat also. A fat content is uh, uh, you can see in 11.7% 11, 11 and 14.5% in duck and 3.5% in case of uh, carbohydrate. Here you can see carbohydrate in rice is very much high. 78% of carbohydrate in rice, whereas 5% in case of milk and 0.9.5% of carbohydrate in case of uh, chicken or duck. So uh, this is the reason that uh, the diabetic persons are told that uh, they, you should eat rice less quantity because the carbohydrate content is very much uh, very much high however the rice is the energy content is uh, very much uh, um, high that is 359 calories per 100 gram whereas 163 uh, grams uh, <coughs> calories you can get from the hen egg and similarly from the duck egg and 200 gram in the chicken meat so why rural backyard poultry now we have seen the different systems of poultry Lekin why we have to vote for backyard poultry that is it will provide the supplementary income alleviate protein hunger improve health status in rural poor integrate well <coughs> integrate well with the other agri farming that is the integration we can go for integration in other agriculture farming with this backyard poultry farming. Minimum labor, women choice. Because in village condition, the women mostly the poultry, the backyard poultry, and as well as the goat keeping. These two things are managed by mostly by the women. Environmental friendly, very much environmental friendly as they will move to the agriculture field, provide the, this uh, manure to the field and take their food from the field. Rearing in a small number, 20 to 25. There is no extra burden on the farmer, extra labor is not required. Only they are managing these birds in their house. Daytime, <clears throat> scavenging and foraging. Full day, they uh, leave the bird for scavenging purposes or the foraging so that they will compensate their food by this uh, foraging and scavenging. Nighttime shelter is required, but not uh, so much uh, scientific uh, uh, shelter is required. They keep a room and that uh, the all the birds will go there. Supplementary grain feeding optional. Grain feeding because the whatever the farmers are growing in the field, like their wastage, you can say, like in rice, uh, the small wastage is there. Then similarly, uh, in maize also, they will get. Uh, so these, will, they will provide it as an optional food to them. Like a native Indian breeds. Native Indian breeds, that is uh, uh, for different states. There are different uh, native breeds like Ankaleswar in Gujarat, Asil in Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Varsa, Gujarat and Maharashtra. Chittagong, Meghalaya and Tripura and Chittagong uh, birds are Meghala, Tripura and somewhat towards the Assam uh, area also and Bengal area. Danki, Andhra Pradesh, Deogdhigiri, Assam, Gagas, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, Harin Ghatta Black in West Bengal, Kadaknath in Madhya Pradesh. As we know, this is the Kadaknath uh, now it is a very popular indigenous breed that uh, that is getting best, best opportunity for the poultry farming. And this is a native chicken. 
so this can be reared in the backyard system also talasti that is andhra pradesh kashmir favarela jammu and kashmir miri in assam nikobari in nandaban nikobar punjab brown punjab and haryana tilcheri recently <coughs> tilcheri from kerala so these are the some of the native breeds and why i am saying these breeds because these all breeds can be maintained in backyard system um, now <coughs> qualities with the native uh, uh, breeds adapted to local climate with these uh, whatever the state they these uh, breeds uh, are uh, very much adapted to local climate resistant to many diseases colored plumage longer because the liking of the people at present is the colored plumage chicken longer sank length longer sank length with they help in the uh, save it from the predators longer sank length sank length will help to run fast and preferred by villagers villager preferred these birds better carcass meat quality Uh, then fetches premium prices as told you earlier that uh, these birds uh, the local birds get more premium prices than that of the farm birds good scavengers they are very good scavenging habit so they may collect the insect as well as the uh, forage from the field low input birds because we are not giving uh, too much feed uh, expenditure on feed is less uh, so they are providing only the waste products or by products of the grains and other things from the house so these are the low input bird we have to not invest much more in case of uh, these backyard bird stress tolerant because they, they are acclimatized or adopted to local climate so there is less uh, stress Uh, in the, these birds than that of the other farm birds major genes for stress and disease tolerance in these uh, birds uh, having major uh, genes uh, in this uh, to protect them from the different diseases now disadvantage with the native chicken what are the disadvantage on this first thing is that low growth rate they are not faster nowadays we are growing uh, the farm birds can may grow up to a very short duration of time with a higher body weight like 6 week a broiler goes on 6 weeks of age they attain the 1.5 kg of body weight similarly low egg production even the egg production is low because they having uh, because they are having this uh, uh, sitting on the egg um, for a uh, brooding of the the purpose so on that condition the low egg production that is about not more than 70x you can say 60 to 70x higher age at sexual maturity because they birds start laying at after 6 month of age this is the that's why the egg production is also less as well as the sexual maturity of the egg uh, that is the egg production or the males having mating is late later than that of the improved variety profit is lesser due to the less egg production and less growth rate similarly lack of purity of the breed in the home track due to intermixing because we are not uh, conservating them so they can mate uh, with other birds in the villages so on that condition we are not uh, maintaining the purity of the bird now egg availability pattern this is cosmo that is the cosmo means that is urban and rural area mix that is 200 urban 60 average 100 then rural then developed variety of this 25x under developed 10 and average is 15 now some of the breeds are variety you can say variety have been developed by different organization so are for this purpose to improve including the including these uh, uh, 
native germplasm and uh, with the improved uh, pure birds and develop a rural variety for this purpose uh, uh, like vanaraja by dpr hyderabad gram priya by dpr uh, hyderabad strinidhi is a dual type bird and this is for the dpr hyderabad and then carry devendra is a dual type bird de <coughs> developed by central avian research institute jatnagar then kurailer dual purpose cake farms private organization have also developed so these birds can be managed under backyard also so that uh, because uh, the farmers are not able to keep the intensive system or semi intensive system on that condition they can uh, these birds have improved their the egg production and meat production now livestock and poultry sector contribution contribution of livestock sector to gdp is 1786 billion rupees similarly a percentage contribution of livestock sector to total gdp is 3.41 percent contribution of poultry sector to livestock about 16% so big contribution to the in the livestock sector contribution of poultry sector sector to total gdp is about 0.56% in livestock it is 16% and 0.56% in the uh, total gdp <clears throat> now advantage of backyard poultry backyard poultry has got many of advantages compared to other small scale farming they it provides supplementary income in shortest possible time and it is very simple in operation there is no big farming uh, um, is required no very much scientific farming it is it needs very minimum or practically no capital investment because they hatch their chicks and grow it in the backyard system not a very high investment capital investment it gives the highest rate of return on land and investment whatever the land and whatever the investment is on that they give highest in rate of income in case of uh, poultry as the indigenous germplasm is used mostly they got better adaptability in tropical areas and protect themselves from predators as i told you earlier that they have having a big uh, longer sank length and good uh, habit to run and on that's why they save it themselves from the predators and they use mostly because the this genetic value they resist uh, many of the disease so uh, people have more preference of for egg and meat of indigenous in urban areas urban areas if a farm eggs are selling on 5 rupees 5 and the desi egg you can say or the native chicken egg it sold about 8 to 10 rupees so uh, higher price here it ensures availability of egg and meat even in remote rural areas where we the uh, farmers or rural farmers are not getting the farm birds on that condition also they get the chicken me chicken from this uh, uh, the net, native chicken and uh, it saves money on egg meat garden fertilizer it uh, the in backyard if they are rearing then it saves money on egg meat and the whatever the small garden the fertilizer is also available with their manure fecal manure it is considered as a tool for rural development utmost need of present day because it is a tool for rural development utmost need and of the present day backyard poultry production a boon for rural women i told you earlier that in case of most of the uh, farm women are rearing this poultry the male uh, person gent person are not in, engaged for this uh, rearing of poultry as well as in the back uh, the goat on that case backyard poultry acts as a livelihood finance for the rural people in the form of insurance against crop failure insurance against crop failure walking uh, walking bank 
and ensure empowerment of rural women. In this case, the rural rural women having uh, power to uh, keep their money with them. So because on that condition, when there is, a, I told you, on drought condition in rainfall area, what happens? Their uh, crop failure condition occurs. On that condition, these live poultry sector, backyard poultry sector, uh, as a livelihood finance ensures all times uh, availability of egg and meat in rural and tribal women area. <clears throat> Mostly malnutrition uh, you can see in case of children as well as in the rural women, uh, especially the, in the tribal areas. Their food habit is only the rice. On that condition, this uh, nutritional availability from the egg and meat in rural area serves as a source of additional income for household women because uh, all things uh, the owner as well as the farmers uh, they are the women in case of backyard poultry system so this will definitely increase the household women income similarly needs animal a uh, minimal use of land labor and capital and also give a quick turnover because the life uh, cycle of you can say productive life cycle of a chicken is very uh, less uh, i can say it is one and a half years so on that condition they can be, uh, earn the money as well as uh, by using less land labor and capital easy to handle and does not uh, require a special attention in backyard there is no requirement of a special attention well integrated with other agriculture operation that we have discussed earlier, environmental friendly, less pollution per unit poultry produce, per unit whatever the land area, because they, they, they the farmers are keeping only 20 to 25 birds. On that condition, the land area pollution will be very less. Recycling of waste material, because the, whatever the fecal material is coming or whatever the production uh, from the uh, uh, one uh, poultry, uh, that is the uh, the waste material, they convert it into egg and meat. In like they can they uh, for, during foraging or scavenging, they take the insects, white ants, fallen grains, grass, kitchen waste, etc., into human food chain by converting it into egg and chicken meat. Then enriches soil fertility from manure, they enriches the soil fertility and from this material, the egg and chicken meat. Provides self-employment and empowerment of women. Provides, this is the self-employment to for the women sector. So these, you can say, women is managing a, in backyard system poultry. <coughs> Women uh, poultry project uh, government has several schemes. Uh, so, women poultry project to promote backyard poultry farming in through STEP, that is support to training and employment program. Program that is self help group formed in the state are given opportunity to start poultry farming through assistance of government departments through DRDA, ITD, women and the CD. STHC program. So these are the different programs run by the government to empower the women. And the one sector that is the poultry sector, they are supporting uh, the women so that their income will be promoted. Now, uh, Dr. Sw M. S. Swami Nathan, that is father of agriculture, India has reached. Uh, he, this statement was: India has reached its target of cereal security to a great extent. Now what is required is nutritional security, which can be achieved by making available animal protein in adequate quantity. So this, these are the words of Dr. M.S. Swaminathan, that India in cereal, whatever the production capacity, so we have reached that target. Now we are going for cereals, what we are doing? We are fortifying it like fortified rice we are producing. Now fortify, fortification is required. Similarly, because the nutritional security 
of the people is very much higher required. So which can be achieved make, making available protein to inadequate quantity. So whatever the protein requirement to prevent the malnutrition in the village area especially, so this is the also a <clears throat> income generation of the farmer uh, by this uh, adequate quantity. So poultry is one of the sector on which we can see. So this is the availability of poultry pattern 2.5, 3.5 kg in urban areas per capita consumption. Whereas in rural areas, it is 0.75 to 1 kg per capita availability. Now, contribution of poultry in economy. <clears throat> economy, what a income there, annual growth of total chicken population is 7.3% in the last decade. The poultry industry contributes about 26,000 crore to the new <clears throat> national income. The organized sector amount accounts for nearly 70% of the total poultry in the country. Organized sector means those who are uh, having industry and rest of the 30% is uh, by, from these backyard and village poultry, rural poultry. About 5 million people are directly or indirectly engaged in poultry sector, apart from numerous small poultry keepers in the rural tribal areas. Now, <clears throat> broiler industry is dominated by the southern state. As we know, in India, the southern states are about 60 to 70 percent total output. The layer industry is also represented more in <clears throat> southern state, especially Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra, producing nearly 70 percent of the country's egg production. Our India is ranking third in place. They, these estates having a major role for achieving this target. Present poultry production system is not congenial for small farmers due to high feed and transport cost, <clears throat> expensive vaccines, insufficient veterinary care services, not availability of non-availability of the credit improper. So these are the reasons that that's why we have to give emphasis on for local poor people to, <clears throat> to go for backyard poultry systems because for intensive farming system, <clears throat> the high feed and transport cost, it is very much expensive. So number of a small poultry unit, 200 to 500 chicks per cycle is decreasing day by day and large units, 5,000 to, 5, uh, 5, to 50,000 birds per week cycle are common. This is in southern state, not in the northern this uh, northern side. Now, way of integration of poultry farming. How we uh, will integrate with other system? Like the poultry farming can be integrated with fish production, other livestock farming, crop production, horticulture, and other for achieving maximum economic benefit. Because integration. Uh, by integration system, we can double the income of the farmer only by integrating these components uh, if a farmer is having a land area of uh, at least one hectare. Of. So byproducts of poultry also fetches money for the farmers due to integration. The cost of poultry production can be reduced because whatever we are producing, this, can, this may be used for these uh, uh, in feeding of the livestock and poultry, and then we can reduce the production cost of the egg and meat. Integration is high in southern region of India, slight in western region, and negligible in northern and eastern region. In this region, the integration is less, whereas in southern region is uh, and western region is uh, more. That is, uh, we can say that. Uh, Integration of fish culture with poultry raising is one of the best way of poultry waste management. Poultry come fish farming. So about 20% dry weight basis of feed stuff is not digested in the poultry birds and excreted from the body. So, for, so further due to their peaking habit while uh, taking feed, about 10% feed is gone on as waste. 
in poultry if you are feeding a poultry they will uh, use uh, their beak to destroy these uh, uh, larger particles of the feed and that is in waste so we can provide it to the in the, the waste in the pond so that fit fish can grow better in the pond similarly thus about 30% of total poultry feed can be available for fish in the pond so 30% of total poultry feed can be available for fish so this is a large quantity that is 30% of feed is contributed contributed by uh, poultry to the fish besides manure now fresh chicken manure contains 1.6% nitrogen 1.5% phosphorus and 0.9% potassium 1 kg of fish can produce by using about 70 kg 17 kg of chicken manure so uh, the application of poultry manure in the pond provides a nutrient base for dense bloom of phytoplankton particularly nanoplankton which helps in intense zooplankton development because the fish feed they mostly track their feed from these planktons by the in the pond so this plankton can be increased by this manure and they, we can increase the our feed the um, fishes so that the growth of the fish will better similarly the small fingerlings can be fed to the after drying it may be fed to the chicken the zooplankton has an additional food source in the form of bacteria which thrive on the organic fraction of the added poultry excreta thus indicates the need for stocking phytoplankton phagus and zooplankton phagus fishes in the pond in this condition the uh, phytoplankton uh, phagus uh, fish and zooplankton phagus fish this will be a feed for the fishes 15 to uh, use of poultry manure in animal feed even we can use uh, in animal feed that is 15 to 35% of the replacement of feed ingredient in animal feed by poultry manure has already been established this has been in research it has been established in several several animal experiment without having any detrimental effect on production and reproduction no bad effect on the other livestock if we are feeding up to 15 to 35% of the area by replacement of feed so by this we can reduce the feed cost of the different livestock by by poultry manure before using in animal feed proper attention must be undertaken during processing of waste to maintain animal health and welfare what is the, whatever the rule for animal health and welfare we have to follow it so uh, accordingly we can provide this feed to the animal you can see this is the one of the integration integrated farming system with the fish similarly these are in cages uh, the birds are kept and their manure directly goes to the in the pond now feeding of poultry in manure in sheep in sheep also the other uh, livestock we can integrate with the poultry incorporation of poultry litter into the ration of growing lambs can be as high as 70% and for fattening a stock up to 50% much however depends upon the litter quality and counterpart forage and feed ingredient so, <clears throat> so whatever forage and feed ingredient uh, ingredient we are providing in case of sheep we have this is tested uh, by growing growing lamb up to 70% so you can see how much we can so if you are uh, added removing 70% of feed that means the feed cost will be only on 30% similarly fattening a stock 50% can be replaced so only 50% we are on the feed cost so poultry waste feed at level of 35% usually covers almost the total protein requirement of sheep and contribute sustainability to the energy of the total ration so 35% if you are 
removing then i think there is no need for giving any type of uh, other feed because it will fulfill all the requirement or nutritional requirement for sheep about 70 to 74% organic matter and 80% crude protein contained in poultry waste are digestible <clears throat> another thing also a very good quality of the manure that is uh, the organic matter is digestible in many of the cases if the there is a rich in other organic matter but some of the cases it is indigestible on that condition we cannot use but it is digestible organic matter the only problem encountered in feed processing waste poultry waste to sheep is the toxicity derived from the higher copper level in poultry diet if we are, we are highly uh, um, copper level is high on that condition this is uh, avoided now use of poultry manure as a fertilizer the poultry droppings are very rich in potassium nitrogen and phosphorus it can improve the nutritional quality of soil resulting in a to increase in productivity of plants as we know that every farmer serving a soil health card on that condition you can check this uh, the soil health card and we can introduce this uh, poultry manure if the uh, this is le uh, less in potassium nitrogen and phosphorus use manure within 120 days of harvesting of crop within 120 days of harvesting of crops we may use this uh, poultry manure it is not recommended to use fresh manure because it may contain certain microorganisms which are harmful so after drying of the manure we may use as a fertilizer not directly we can use uh, in the agriculture field we do not uh, directly uh, use these manure fresh manure for the farming system poultry manure waste should be composted for at least one month before use in the agriculture field as fertilizer to destroy harmful microorganisms so not uh, use directly fresh manure so integrated fish production employment and food supply per capita consumption of fish is 9.8 kg against 30 kg is required so provide employment to sizable section of the society in rural areas in rural area nowadays the people are very much aware that uh, if they are going for fish farming then they used to keep this uh, livestock sector uh, poultry goat and cattle especially for uh, the in to increase their uh, productivity as well as the income generation contribution of livestock sector in total gdp was nearly 4.11% and fishery accounted for 0.83% of total gdp and 4.75% of agriculture so uh, so this is the total gdp picture that uh, this much more quantity contributed by fish so this is also a income generating uh, for, uh, for the farmers that is the fish integrated fish production now this is the fishery farming system uh, they are using as an integration and fish uh, livestock agriculture integration fish we can include include fish with pig fish with duck fish with poultry fish with vegetable fish fruits with fruits etc so these are the in this the, the fish is the common and we can use this uh, because all these uh, uh, manure producing animal pig duck poultry even a, a dairy sector is also help in the uh, fish production now advantages of fish duck integration duck dropping act as a feed and fertilizer for cultured fish in the pond <clears throat> whatever the then duck collect 50% of their food naturally from the pond they <clears throat> naturally that is zooplankton as well as phytoplankton so zooplankton and phyto phytoplankton the growth of zooplankton and phy phytoplankton are mostly on the 
these uh, manure will help to grow them. That keep the waste the water body clean because uh, an increased dissolved oxygen content. You have seen that uh, that goes inside the water for dabbling, and this dabbling will help to increase the dissolved oxygen content for the fishes because this oxygen concentrate. the dust the part of the this uh, dusty part of the feed are where the plants be so integrated duck comfy farming a house nearby pond for the duck and in the morning hour they uh, go to the pond in this condition you have to understand that after nine o'clock you leave the duck in the pond because uh, the duck having a peculiar habit that they used to lay the eggs before 9 a.m. And if you leave the uh, ducks in the morning hours in the fish pond, on that condition, duck may lay eggs in the bushes or anywhere on the side of the pond and you may not get the egg. So production uh, will be, you think that production will decrease. Integrated poultry fish farming in this farming system, 3,500 to 4,000 fish uh, kg of fish can be produced. More than 20,000 eggs can be produced by this number of, of, uh, of birds and about 12, 50 kg live weight chicken meat. The floor must be maintained dry throughout. The floor of house should be perforated so that four to six uh, square centimeter mesh size and each bird require a living space of 0.3 to 0.5 square meter of space so that the all the drooping will uh, go inside the pond. Now by this uh, whole, uh, 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 we can summarize it. India has tremendous potential for of organic poultry farming because of traditional backyard poultry. In this uh, budget, you have seen that uh, the government has uh, more emphasis on the organic poultry farming system. Even Sikkim has given this uh, uh, role to role to play for the organic farming poultry farming system. For organic poultry farming system, backyard traditional backyard poultry farming system is required. Only by this we can go for organic poultry farming. The aim of development should be to improve food security and rural livelihood. Food security, that is the that is uh, the nutritive value of egg, meat and so that the malnutrition will be removed from the farmer's house and rural livelihood because they will fetch the money from that uh, after the sale of the egg and meat. What is very important means of food of animal origin in rural women and children. Especially I told you earlier that uh, the rural women and children having a very deficient in nutrient, you can say is a malnutrition case in children. So this can be covered by this. So backyard poultry farming can provide cheaper protein source in the form of meat and egg, manure poultry waste, income of, of women empowerment and employment. So by this, we can say this backyard poultry farming will definitely enhance the income of the farmers as well as socio-economic condition of the farmer by increasing or doubling the farmer's income by different component of agriculture as well as different component of livestock. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Of course.
Hello. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Marcus, if there are any questions, please ask. Any questions? Uh, so I think there are no more questions. Uh, let's close okay. this session. Okay, we'll thank you. Thank you. thank you so much, sir. Thanks thank on behalf you, of NADCL and thanks on behalf of participants. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ma